What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and super exciting day today. The iOS 11 jailbreak has unofficially been released to developers. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what that means, which devices are supported, and basically everything you need to know, because I see a lot of information that's not true and just being spread around right now on the internet that I wanted to clarify. First off, this is not a public release. It is not meant for you to install right now, especially if you are not a developer. So if you guys want to install it regardless, you don't listen to my advice or the actual developers that released it, then you can do that and you are able to, I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can do that. You can install it two ways, one through Xcode, the most secure method, and another through a shady link online, which spams your device with ads in order to do this. And um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Either way, both won't work. You won't be able to do anything with either one once you have Cydia installed. So basically, Basically, this works on any device on iOS 11.0 to 11.1.2, 1.2 1 being the highest version that this would work on. On my iPhone 10, it would work. It'll work on iPhone 8, 7, you know, 6S, 6, any device that currently runs iOS 11. So that pretty much means any iPhone, you know, all the way down to the 5S, all the way up to the iPhone 10. It does install Cydia. On my iPhone 10, it does not work. It crashes. And that is because, again, this is only for developers. It's meant for research purposes. The actual public release will be out in just a little bit here, but I still wanted to let you guys know it is here. And, uh, you know, just don't go around and installing random stuff on the internet. The full version will be out soon. And, you know, you don't want to mess up your chance at this jailbreak. There's no way to get back to 11.1.2 if you end up having to restore your device. So just want you guys to be aware of that. But I just want to run you through the process of uh, how it's installed, just so you know. Uh, I definitely would not recommend you do this, of course. So with Xcode running and a device that is on iOS 11.1.2 or below, you can go ahead and install this on your device. So just go ahead and download the project run it and uh, theoretically it would install city on your device now the reason you shouldn't do this is because of course you could mess your device up but there's just really nothing you can do even if you do manage to get it installed like for me even if it installs Cydia, Cydia will crash almost immediately or if you do get it working it doesn't work very well and Cydia substrate isn't enabled so it's pretty much pointless right now just wanted to make an update video to let you guys know yes an ios 11 jailbreak is here it's almost here almost at full release so just give it a little bit more time and you guys will be enjoying it, especially if you have an iPhone 10. I cannot wait for the awesome amount of tweaks, the cool stuff we'll be able to do with it on this uh, organic LED display. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, guys, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this. I've got a really exciting video for you tomorrow. I'm actually late to this one because I was working on a video on crypto mining on iPhones. I think that's going to be an exciting one I'll share with you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. I'll keep you guys updated on this jailbreak and the news behind it. But yeah, for me, on most devices, it doesn't even work yet, which is uh, pretty much a tell for why you shouldn't be installing this in the first place. All right, guys, stay tuned for the final release. I want to say thank you to all of the developers that made this happen. And uh, this tool, especially made by Abraham Masri over here, you guys can find his Twitter in the actual app. It's uh, it's called to.panga. So once that's fully released, I'll make another update video. Peace.